In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your daytime footage to nighttime footage right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. So once you've got your daytime footage inside of Adobe After Effects, we can begin by analyzing the footage. So we'll go up into the Effects and Presets tab and we'll search for 3D Camera Tracker. Drop that onto your video and we're going to have to wait two, three, four, maybe even five minutes for the computer to analyze the footage. But as soon as the computer has finished analyzing the footage, we can see that the computer has generated all of these different tracking points. And this looks really intimidating. But all you have to do is hover over a few of these keyframes and you'll see this red target or this red shield appear. Now, once you've found a target that you're happy with, you want to click onto it and you want to select create null and camera. And that will create a brand new null object and a brand new 3D camera. So basically our footage has been motion tracked. So anything we apply to it now will automatically stick to the video. So from here, we need to go ahead and create a brand new adjustment layer. So we'll go up to layer, new adjustment layer. And with the adjustment layer selected, we're going to go into effects and presets and search for curves. Drop curves onto the adjustment layer and then inside of the curves tab on the left hand side of After Effects, we're going to pull the midtones of the RGB over to the right. We'll go over to the red channel and we'll increase the midtones. So we'll pull this up to the top left. We'll go over to the green channel and we'll decrease the midtones in the green. And then we'll go over to the blue. And again, we'll pull the midtones of the blue down to the bottom right just a little bit. Now, the next step is to create a brand new black solid. So we'll go into layer, new solid. Make sure the color of this is black. We'll press OK on this. We want to increase the scale of this black solid by pulling this corner pin in the left over to the bottom left. We'll go up to the rectangle mask tool and we'll draw a rectangle mask around the bottom fifth of the frame. Now we'll go into the mask of that rectangle and we'll increase the mask feather up to around 100%. And then we'll go down to mask opacity and we'll pull this down to around 50%. And there you go, that looks really awesome, but it's not tracked to the scene. So in order to do this, we have to convert this to a 3D object by pressing the 3D button and that should stick to the video perfectly. Now we need to go ahead and we need to replace the clouds. So you want to go ahead and find an image of some sunset clouds and we want to drop this onto our composition, perfectly position this just above the skyline and then we'll convert this to a 3D layer by pressing the 3D box. And then we'll create a brand new rectangle mask around the top half of this cloud layer. So we'll go up to the rectangle mask tool, draw a rectangle mask around the top half of this cloud layer And then we'll add some feathering by going into mask one, mask feather and pulling this all the way up to around 100%. And that looks really seamless. Now from here, we need to go ahead and add some general grading on top of everything that we've created so far. So we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new adjustment layer. So we'll go layer, new adjustment layer. Then in effects and presets, we'll search for Lemetri. That'll be in color correction. So once you've found a metric color, you want to drop that onto the adjustment layer. Input LUT, you want to select a LUT that works for yourself. So in my example, I'm going to select the D21 D-Log C LUT. And I'm happy with that, but it's a little bit too intense. So selecting the adjustment layer, I'll press T on the keyboard to load up opacity. And we'll decrease the opacity to around 20%. And that's just adding some really soft grading on top of all of our footage so far. Now, next we need to go ahead and generate a sunset. So we need to create a lens flare. So we'll go into layer, new, solid, change the color of this to black. We'll press okay on this, or you can rename this if you like to keep things organized. We'll go over to the effects and presets tab on the right of After Effects, search for lens flare, drop this onto the black solid. And as you see, we've got this really awesome lens flare generated. If we increase the flare brightness, the flare is getting more intense. But the problem is we have this black background right behind the lens flare, which is completely blocking out all of our footage. So we need to go and change the blend mode. So selecting the lens flare layer, that's the black solid. You want to change the mode from normal to screen and that black background will disappear. 
Now, if we change the flare center over to the left, just above the horizon, you can see that's starting to look really realistic. Now, it's completely up to you on how intense you want this to be. I don't want this to be too intense, so I'm going to make sure this is around 150%. But of course, you can make this more intense or less intense by increasing or decreasing the number of the flare brightness. But once you're happy with that, we want to go ahead and convert this to a 3D layer. So with the black solid selected, we'll press the 3D item button. And then we'll just increase the scale of that by pulling down this red square to the bottom left. And now you can see that that lens flare is perfectly sticking with the movement of the camera. So there's one more thing to finish this effect off. We're just gonna go into effects and presets. We'll search for tint and we'll drop tint to the newest adjustment layer that we have. So in my example, it's adjustment layer six but this could be anything for yourself. So dropped in onto adjustment layer six, we'll map the black to a dark orange and we'll map the white to a bright yellow. Pull down the amount of tint to around 36% and if I solo the original footage, you'll see the daytime to sunset footage effect is now complete. It's actually a really easy and really simple process. It just takes a little bit of time to make sure everything looks right. But there you go. That is how you convert your day footage to sunset footage right inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to subscribe to see more. Click this box if you want to see the previous video and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.